Hello everyone, and welcome to Sprinkles Kisses for Kids. Today, I will read a book to you named Clifford Snow Day. It was a beautiful winter day on Birdwell Island. Emily Elizabeth and Clifford were playing rescue squad together. We've got to help Mr. Nibbles down the tree, Emily Elizabeth said. Good thing helping is what we do best, Clifford replied. Then Clifford and Emily Elizabeth saw Fire Chief Franklin drive by. His fire dog Tucker was kicking salt onto the road from the back of the fire truck. What are you and Tucker doing, Fire Chief Franklin? Emily Elizabeth asked. A big snowstorm is on its way, he explained. The salt will help melt the snow on the roads. We might get more snow than we ever had. Emily Elizabeth rushed home to read her Birdwell Allen Almanac. What's an almanac? Clifford asked. Emily Elizabeth giggled. <laughs> an almanac is a book that tells you about the weather in a place. The almanac said that a heavy snowstorm on Birdwell Allen was rare but possible. Emily Elizabeth couldn't wait for the snow, but Clifford wasn't so sure. He had never seen snow before. What if it was too cold or too slippery? Just then, tiny snowflakes started to fall from the sky. Clifford watched as a snowflake landed on his tongue and melted. It was a little cold, but it was fun too. Clifford was starting to feel excited about the snow. The snow continued to fall. Before long, Birdwell Allen had turned into a winter wonderland. Come on, let's go play, Emily Elizabeth told Clifford. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth built a snowman and made snow angels. Clifford pulled Emily Elizabeth along the snowy streets on her snowboard. And Emily Elizabeth sledded down Clifford's size pals of snow. You were right, Emily Elizabeth, Clifford said. Snow is so, so, hachoo! Emily Elizabeth touched Clifford's nose. It felt dry and warm. I think you might be coming down with a little cold, she said. Just then, they noticed Fire Chief Franklin trying to push his truck out of the snowdrift. 
Clifford ran over and helped to get the truck unstuck. Thanks, Clifford, Fire Chief Franklin said. Fire Chief Franklin wasn't the only person having trouble because of the snow. Slippery roads made it dangerous to drive. Piles of snow blocked front doors. And some of the forest animals were very cold. Clifford had an idea. Maybe we could play Rescue Squad for real. We could help anyone in trouble. Two. Emily Elizabeth was worried about Clifford's cold. But Clifford thought helping their friends will make him feel better. Then let's do it! Emily Elizabeth said. The Birdwell Snow Rescue Squad jumped into action. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth delivered firewood to Miss Clayton. And Clifford swept away the snow blocking Jack's front door with a big giant sneeze. <laughs> Clifford's big paws came in handy for clearing the roads. He gave Mr. Basu's mail truck a boost up a slippery hill. And when the Birdwell Snow Rescue Squad visited the forest, the critters snuggled up into Clifford's warm fur. But the whole time they were helping their friends, Clifford couldn't stop sneezing. Uh, achoo! Your little cold doesn't seem so little anymore, Emily Elizabeth said. It's time for Clifford to go home and rest. Back in his doghouse, Clifford was sad he couldn't help more people. I feel like I let everybody down, he told Emily Elizabeth. Then they heard visitors at the front of the house. You two were so kind to help everyone today. Fire Chief Franklin said to Emily Elizabeth and Clifford. So we decided to return the favor. Fire Chief Franklin offered the fire truck's holes to Clifford to use as a big straw. It is important to stay hydrated, he said. Miss Clayton bought a bedtime book to help Clifford relax. Jack made a big batch of veggie soup. And Mr. Basu bought mailbags to hang on Clifford's ears like giant earmuffs. The animals from the forest even stopped by to keep Clifford company. Clifford hadn't let his neighbors down. He had lifted them up. Clifford smiled and snowflakes began to fall from the sky again. Let it snow! Emily Elizabeth cheered. Even in chilly weather, the people on Birdwell Allen stayed warm by sticking together. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today, 
and please continue to thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you soon!